Hello everyone, welcome to Art Venture. My name's Kirsty. This artwork we're going to do is a first fleet artwork. So we're going to do a picture of a big ship. So the first thing we do is our border. Okay, once you've done your border, I'm going to do a wave uh, pattern across the bottom. And this pattern here, basically what I do is I go up and then I come under and do sort of like a cut for cat and then go over the hill again. So up, cut for cat, over the hill, over the hill. Today I'm using permanent texture and charcoal, but obviously you can choose whatever you like. Okay, so our boat is going to be long and skinny and we're going to have lots of beautiful sails up the top. But at the front of my boat, there's um, a big sail that comes out the front as well. So the front of my boat needs to be not too close to the edge. So the back is okay, but the front needs to be in a bit from the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the back and I'm going to come up, out and across. And then this bit is going to come all the way across here. Then it comes up and I'm going to give it a bit of a, a swirl up here for the head of the boat and then it comes down with a bump and back under. Okay, so starting up here, I'm going to do a diagonal line that comes up and out. And I'll just give that pole a bit of a head at the end. Okay, so in my ship, I need to think about there's going to be three poles in my ship. So the last pole at the back, I'll just put two little lines because it's going to be all the way at the back. And then I'll put one here and one over here. So nice and evenly spread. So those poles are going to go up, but the reason I'm not drawing them now is because they're going to have sails in front of them and I can't draw the pole and then draw the sails on top. I have to do it the other way around. Okay, so I'll start with the sails here. And the trick to doing these sails is it starts further away than where it ends up. So, sorry, higher up than when it comes down here. So what I'm going to do is a shape like that. But you can see that it basically finishes at the height of the boat, but it starts further up. So that's the first bit. And what we can do is we can actually extend our pole up to where um, the bottom of the first sail is going to be. From there, I'm going to do two lines up, but when I do these two lines up, this side, the left-hand side, is further down than the right-hand side. And then I join it together. So you can see that this side is skinnier and it gets fatter as it comes over to this side. I'm going to extend my pole up and I'm going to do the same thing again. and then just finish the pole up at the top. I'm going to do the same thing using this pole here. And then on the last pole here, I'm going to extend it up further. And then I'm gonna create the same shape but just one sail at the back here. I'm going to add a sail that comes off the back of the ship as well. Okay, I'm going to add a couple of sails at the front here. So what I need to do is draw a line from this um, point up here to this sail here. 
So underneath the first one, but above the second one. So I'm just going to draw a little bit of a, a line around there. So it looks like a bit of string or rope and then a line that goes straight over here. Now don't worry if it goes in front of these things because it actually is in front. That piece of rope goes, cuts across the front of these. Then from here and here, I'm going to create a triangle. That's another sail and that sail can join up down here. So extend that down and that's an extra piece of rope there. Behind there, I'm going to do the same thing. So add a few lines there for the rope. It goes behind this sail and attaches up at the same point. Now this bit here is rope and as is this bit, but this bit becomes sail. And I don't want my sail to come in front of these. So I'm going to start um, on this side of those existing sails and I'm going to turn it into a triangle just like I did before, but it's going to go behind. See how that's crossing over there? That's actually okay because this bit here is not a solid shape like these triangles and these sails. It's actually a rope which is cutting past it. And then this one here, I'm going to join that over this direction here. Now to give my ship a bit of extra effect, I'm going to add more ropes like these ones, but I'm going to add them to these sails. So these ones over here, I'm going to make go straight down to this pole. And notice how I'm doing it all in the same direction. So it's pulling the same way. And I might even add some ropes on the other side, but I need to imagine that it goes behind this pole and it also goes behind these sails. I'll do a few the other direction as well, going up. So I'll pretend that these sails are attaching behind over this side. I might just add a few lines across my boat as well so that it looks like timber. Okay, I'm going to use charcoal to color in my picture. So I'm just gonna use my charcoal on the side for most of it so that it's nice and light. The thing I need to look out for here is when I come to doing my these sections up here, I need to be careful that I don't think that these lines need coloring in because remember they're ropes. So I just need to do the sails. So I do a bit like that and then I use my finger and I'm going to smudge that. I'm going to leave my background white so that I have a really lovely contrast between my ship, my first fleet ship and also the ocean underneath. There we are, there is my ship, my first fleet ship going to Australia. Now don't forget if you have used charcoal, you might need to head over to the tips on using charcoal for a few bits of advice as well.